Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, simple lower third animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Let's start creating our lower third. Let's create a new composition. Name it as lower third. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Now set the time duration to 5 seconds. Now let's create a line. Select the pen tool. Make sure fill is set to none. Stroke is set to solid color. Now draw the line as shown. Perfect. Now if you want to set line color, then you can set it here. Or you can add fill effect for your shape layer. Here you can set stroke width. Now let's align the shape layer to the center. Now for shape layer 1. Position the anchor point to the center of shape layer 1. Now for shape layer 1, press S to bring up the scale. Now at 20 frames. Unlink the scale. Now create a keyframe for scale. Now at start of the timeline. Change scale value for X axis to 0. Now you can see the preview. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now we need to create a duplicate of shape layer 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now let's add our text. Now let's align the text to the center. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text1. Perfect. Now for shape layer 1. Press P to bring up the position. Now at 20 frames. Create a keyframe for position. Now at 2 seconds. Change position value for Y axis as shown. Position it in such a way that the line is below the text. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now do same for shape layer 2. Press P to bring up the position. Now at 20 frames. Create a keyframe for position. Now at 2 seconds. Change position value for Y axis as shown. Position it in such a way that the line is above the text. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now for text layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now for text composition. At 2 seconds. Press P to bring up the position. Now create a keyframe for position. Now at 20 frames. Change position value for the Y axis. Position it in such a way that the text is above the line. 
Now do same for other text composition. Press P to bring up the position. At 2 seconds. Create a keyframe for position. Now at 20 frames. Change position value for the Y axis, position it in such a way that the text is below the line. Perfect. Now select both end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new solid layer. Now position the solid layer below text composition. Now for white solid 1. Now select rectangle tool. Now draw mask from the center as shown. Perfect. Now for text 1 composition. Change track mat to alpha mat white solid 1. Now again create a new solid layer. Now for white solid 2, draw mask from the center as shown. Now for text 1 composition. Change track mat to alpha mat white solid 2. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create another shape layer for our subtext. Now make sure the fill is set to solid. Stroke is set to none. Now create rectangle shape as shown. Perfect. Now for shape layer 3, position the anchor point as shown. Now at 3 seconds. Press S to bring up scale. Now let's unlink the scale. Now create a keyframe for scale. Now at 1 second and 25 frames. Change scale value for the y-axis to 0%. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add our subtext. Position it over the rectangle shape. Perfect. Now pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text2. Now for text2 composition. Press P to bring up the position. Now at 3 seconds and 20 frames. Create a keyframe for position. Now come back to 2 seconds and 20 frames. Now adjust the position value for the x-axis. As shown. Perfect. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now select the shape layer 3. 
Now press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now place it over text 2 composition. Now for text 2 composition, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 4. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our lower third animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.